Hey YouTube, Santa Frank here. This week's episode of Hog Talk, I wanted to talk about tops, um, fanatics, and the future of Star Wars cards with tops and fanatics. Now, as you know, tops they've been they've had the Star Wars uh, license um, to make Star Wars cards for quite a few years now, and I I personally I've been looking into this and I have a theory that Topps is done making Star Wars cards. Now, there's still, the blowback that I get when I say this is that, hey, they're still doing the throwback, um, online throwback uh, Star Wars cards. It was like, they're like 1975 Topps style um, online um, exclusive cards that you can buy. But I'm talking about um, anything planned for the future. Ever since I've had this YouTube channel and been buying like modern Star Wars cards, there's always been sets planned out in the, ahead of time. Like you can go to different online sellers and pre-order like upcoming Star Wars stuff. Right now, nothing. This is the first time I've ever seen where there's no pre-orders for anything Star Wars coming up. Um, Sketch card artists says, say that they have not been uh, making any Star Wars sketch cards um, for upcoming sets. I've even heard that there's not going to be an Ahsoka set, which seems unbelievable because that show is amazing and just like seems like that would be a really good uh, modern Star Wars set. Like way better than stuff like, like Book of Boba Fett, which was not a great show really. And they did a set for that. I've never heard anything about an Andor set coming out. That show was amazing. Um, haven't heard anything about any Season 3 Mandalorian sets. They they seem like they put out a bunch of Star Wars sets towards the end of 2023. Like um, Finest, um, the Topps Chrome set, Galaxy. Uh, 2022 Masterwork came out all that stuff came out just within a couple months span and then now nothing and nothing on pre-order which is really strange for Star Wars <clears throat> um, so oh also they were making the Topps Living Set another online exclusive uh, top set of Star Wars and they stopped that set it's cancelled now um, well, future uh, drawings are canceled or future cards, and they told the artists, you know, we're we're done with it. And <clears throat> the artist uh, Chris Penix is one of the artists. They asked Tops like, "Hey, why are you discontinuing the set?" And their reasoning was, "Oh, you, there's no more good characters left to do." And Carlos Caballero and Chris Penix they went to Tops and said, "Hey." We have all these great, very popular characters still planned to do for the Topps Living set. You know, we should be continuing this. And Topps said no. So their excuse for no good characters or popular characters left to do was not a good excuse. Maybe, they, maybe they're in negotiations with Disney to extend the uh, Star Wars license. I don't, I don't know when their licensing ended or whatever, or if it is ended. It's just very clear that Fanatics and Tops don't really see a future with Star Wars stuff because there's just nothing on the horizon coming. And the fact that they're not going to do an Ahsoka set, to me, says a lot because that would have been a huge set. Um, so many uh, great characters in that set. Um... The autograph checklist would have been fantastic. I mean, look at these sketches. Uh, these are not official sketches. They are uh, sketches by uh, sketch artists that I picked up. Um, would have been a fantastic set for sketch cards too. But um, yeah, very sad to me because I love the Ahsoka series. And I mean, you have the Acolyte. That's going to be a great show too. Um, so I think maybe Fanatics is just trying to uh, 
um, streamline things maybe, and maybe they just don't see Star Wars as being real po profitable for them. I don't know. The card quality of the more recent sets has been very disappointing in my eyes. Um, 2023 Finest had lots of roller marks all over the cards. 2023 Tops Chrome um, had some really bad imaging on the cards. Now, I will say, you can still get Star Wars, uh, Tops Star Wars stuff from some of these uh, hobby shops and um, like some of the online sellers. And there's actually some really good deals on it. Like, you can get these. These came out in 2023. This was like the flagship version of star wars i picked up some of these they're just really cheap you get 24 packs um and one of these wide vision cards in this super box it's not really a hobby box but um really good value i think there i mean you can get them for around 40 bucks a box now um of course the uh Bo book of boba fett set um you're guaranteed one hit out of these tins, and you can get these for between thirty and forty dollars a tin now, which is a really good deal. When stuff gets it down that low, I like to stock up on it to just to open on the channel. Um, um, here's another really good uh, good buy. When these first came out, these were one hundred fifty dollars, and I bought several. Um, and then I discovered the card quality was not that strong, but. There's a great autograph checklist for this, and um, the refractors look really good. Um, there's some really cool inserts you can get, like this, the the uh, Kyber crystal cards. Um, you're guaranteed an auto each box, and they're now at the price where they're actually worth buying, even though the base cards are kind of ugly card quality. But, I mean, this is a Topps Chrome Star Wars set, and you can get this for around seventy-five dollars a box now. This is the uh, this actually has really excellent card quality. This is the uh, the the two thousand twenty-two Topps Chrome Star Wars Mandalorian, um, the Beskar edition set. Um, you're guaranteed an auto in each one of these boxes, and a lot of the autos from this uh, this set. You know, when you when it first came out, you're like, eh, these are just minor characters. But a lot of those characters have played bigger roles in some of the other Disney shows. So they're actually pretty cool autos that you can get out of this that maybe got overlooked when it first came out. And also, you know, card quality is excellent in these. And this is basically Mandalorian Season 1 and Season 2 in Chrome version. So... <clears throat> Those are cool. You can get these for around $60 a box, which I think is a good deal. And I wanted to show um, also what I've been doing here, you know, over time. I think I've showed these on the channel before, but I've been stockpiling. And I'm glad I did now that I'm thinking that they might not be making new Star Wars stuff at, at Tops. I've been just saving these for to open on the channel someday um i've got tops chrome black 2023 and 22 um i've got a couple boxes of the bounty hunter set that was almost pretty nice these um you can still get the tops chrome black pretty easily these are getting harder to find the uh, bounty hunter set um, they're around a hundred dollars a box, I think. These you can still get these on blowout. Um, I got them on, a, on when they went on sale. You can actually get Mark Hamill autos in this set, and, and I, I don't know if you can get Harrison Ford, but I know there are Mark Hamill autos. I don't know how easy it is to hit an auto in these, but this is the Star Wars Perspectives uh, Euro Edition. Um, and you can still get those. Now this, these I cannot find anymore. This is um, Force Awakens Series 2. Um, another really cool set. I love the uh, Force Awakens film. It was great. Um, these are really nice. You can get these at a really good deal. Around $80 to $90 a box if you look hard enough. And um, maybe get a coupon or something and get them even cheaper. 
but these are the collector booster box or collector hobby boxes of the Obi Wan set, and these are actually really awesome because you get two hobby boxes, two tins, each one has a hit, and also you get an oversized um, card. That's a lot of people collect those oversized cards, and also you have different tins, like different art on the tins than the regular hobby boxes, hobby tins, and I think. For the price is a good deal so those are out there still these are actually these have come down way less than what i paid for them um, you can get these these are the um 2023 star wars high tech i overpaid for them clearly but i saved a couple of them um you can get these for about 130 a box which is still too much i think but these were supposedly just at a uh convention they didn't like have an official release for those uh here's some of those uh best car edition um, chrome boxes um that is Alright, sorry about that. I had some uh, camera issues. Alright, continuing on. Uh, I don't know if I talked about these. This is uh, the Rise of Skywalker Series 1. Really hard to find those now, but I mean, they're about $100 boxes if you can get your hands on one. Um, these you can still get um, pretty readily because they're too expensive. Um, and it's going to continue to slide down in, in price. This is the 2023 Star Wars Galaxy Chrome. Um, just not as cool as like the first two that came out. And also, you don't you're not guaranteed an auto per box. So you are guaranteed three Chrome parallels per box, though. So I have a couple of those. These I you can find these on um, blowout cards still and like eBay. I wouldn't pay more than like 100 115 per box um they're the same set just one's a resistance uh, box art and one is the uh first order but that's the uh, chrome perspectives resistance versus first order you're guaranteed auto in those boxes um this is the last jedi series 2 now this i highly recommend um even though a lot of people didn't like the movie um, this series 2 is kind of loaded you get lots of numbered cards you have a really good chance of getting sketch cards which sketch cards are really cool to get in Star Wars so I love sets that you have good good chances of getting sketch cards now those I, they're getting pretty tough to find um, this is a really good set um, this is the Star Wars women of Star Wars set um, this came out uh, in 2020. Um, of course, there's so many great female characters in Star Wars. I mean, not just the ones on the cover. You have Sabine. You have Hera. You know, so many good ones. And um, you get a lot of numbered cards in this. Also, pretty good shots at sketch cards. This is... Okay, so we were talking about the Obi-Wan series. This is the regular Hobby 10 in, that, um, in this special collectors hobby box edition you get two tins and they're different art than than this one this is the regular hobby tin but these you can get these are very cheap as well good buy right now i can't find these anymore this is a 2022 uh, star wars finest i really liked this set um you get one hit per mini box and so it's probably going to be two autos but you can get sketch cards also in this and the card quality is really nice. Nice card design. But like I said, it's really tough to find those now. Ah, this is one, another one of my favorite ones. This is a Series 2 Rise of Skywalker. Now you got to be careful because they did put out some, some cases that were missing hits. Now, 
I don't know how you know if the case you're buying has missing hits or not, but there were cases that were missing some hits. But if you get ones that have the hits, you have a really good chance of getting sketch cards. You get a guaranteed auto. I've gotten some nice autos from that. You have the Millennium Falcon. Oh, also in Series 1, you have the Millennium Falcon uh, relics, like screen-used relics. That Those are awesome. They're not easy to hit, but they're in there. Um, we talked about these, Star Wars Chrome 2023. Um, here's a Mandalorian Season 2. You can still find these in hobby shops pretty cheap. Um, maybe some online places have them still, but this, these you can get pretty cheap. Series 1 are not easy to get because you can get Pedro Pascal, Pascal autos. There's those Book of Boba Fett's. Um, ah, one of my all-time favorite sets. Um, Star Wars Galactic Files um, 2018. This, this set is really great. You get tons of numbered cards, like four or five per box it seemed like and also really good shot at getting sketch cards and really good chance of getting short prints um, just a great set um, for opening boxes and um but these are very expensive now but you can still get them but they're just very expensive like 350 plus yeah um this one you can still find this is a really good set this is the um series one um of force awakens um, you can get really cool screen used stormtrooper um, relics or first order stormtrooper uh, relics um, great autograph checklist um, a fantastic um, sketch cards because uh, they had all the great sketch card artists for this set so many good artists Ingrid Hardy, Chris Penix, they did sketches for this. Um, they're not easy to hit. Um, I will say that, but they're in there. And um, you can still get the, these boxes for like less than $100 a box. This is a this set used to be really easy to find for around $50, $40, $50 a box. Now, you, if you look hard enough, you can find them for around $100. This is the Chrome version of The Force Awakens. Uh, I think it's got Series 1 and Series 2 images. Um, beautiful cards. Probably the best quality uh, Star Wars cards ever made by Topps. But it's really hard to get hits. You only get one hit per box and it might be a medallion. But it has a really good autograph checklist. If you get lucky and get an auto, you can get sketches in these. Printing plates, of course. So I do really like those if you can get them at a good price. Um, Star Wars Signature Series. Um, these, I'm not a big fan of these, but I did. you can still find these pretty good good prices. This is 2023. I'd say like $50, $60 a box is the best. Ah, the good old Return of the Jedi Black and White. Great set. You can get some really cool autos. Check out my channel. I pulled a monster card from one of these one time. Uh, only one hit per box, but it's like half the boxes have sketches, half have autos. You just got to remember that. Um, and sometimes you can get some really great autos. I mean, this is o the OG guys here. <clears throat> but these go for, um, if you wait for a sale, you can get them for around $100 a box. Battle plans, uh, I think these are really tough to find now. I never even opened a box of this ever. So I don't, I'm not really sure what the cards look like. But you do get two hits per box. Uh, I know there's some nice autos that you can get from Battle Plans, but I just never opened one. Um, they're getting harder to find. I don't think they made a ton of that. Um, this one's a good set. This is Last Jedi Series 1. What's interesting about this is you can get... Um, Mark Hamill autos in this set. Um, it's harder to hit autos, so if you do hit an auto, it's probably going to be a halfway decent one. But um, you can also get sketch cards, but you're not guaranteed an auto per box. I actually like sets that you're not guaranteed an auto per box, so it seems like you get better autos instead of just the tons and tons of, of spares in some of these sets. 
this is a great one. This is the black and white, a new hope. Um, all the three biggies are in here with autos. Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill. They're live autos in the product that are hard to hit, but they're in there. And uh, these, I think you can get these for like 150 a, a box, but it's just like the other black and white in that if half the boxes have sketches, half of them have autos. And you're only going to get one hit. Um, this is a 2022 Star Wars Galaxy. I really like this set. Um, it kind of stinks with the borders. It's tough to grade. Um, really tough to grade with because the, they have black chrome borders and a lot of off-centering. But really high quality cards um, and these have been coming down in price and you're guaranteed an auto so I like it better than 2023 where you're not guaranteed an auto and I'd, I'd say a target price on those is probably around 200 a box here's some more of those uh, super boxes oh that's it for that pile and here we're getting down to the end here we've got 2023 um, finest you can find these for about 120 130 a box it's not as good as 2022 finest it seems like a lot of spare type autos and it's hard to hit sketches but they are nice cards i always like finest these are cool this is tops chrome chrome legacy uh, these are impossible to find um, i imagine they're probably three or four hundred dollars a box if you find them now but i was lucky enough to get a couple boxes uh, probably the last two out there and um they didn't make very much of this so you get tons of low numbered cards really good chance of getting super fractors uh, just great sets um oh this one this one you can actually get really good deals now is the top chrome sapphire return of the jedi um you can get mark hamill harrison ford autos and this stuff just the card design was really bad. Um, the uh, A New Hope Topps Chrome Sapphire was beautiful. These are kind of ugly, but you can get autos. You couldn't get autos in the, uh, the A New Hope um, Sapphire set, but you can get autos in this. They're just really hard to hit, but these people hate the uh, design of the cards. I do too. They, they just don't look good. So... The prices of these will keep coming down. I think they're down to like 130 a box now. More Star Wars signatures this is 2022. Um, probably tougher to get those now. Uh, the Holocron um, series. I didn't really like these that much. Um, I didn't think it was a really nice looking set. But you're guaranteed an auto per box. Um, you can get sketch cards and stuff like that short prints um i think these go for about 150 dollars a box now and masterwork this is the last masterwork set that they came out with 2022 masterwork um, it's got the beautiful box design with the soka actually really nice hits you can get in these good chances at sketch cards you're guaranteed two autos also per box just fantastic masterwork is the best and their own card autos um, so cool so that was my little tour of the boxes i've been like stockpiling in star wars and um i'll open these someday on the channel it just right now i'm kind of enjoying um collecting the sealed stuff and if i find cheap boxes along the way i will uh, open those like i have some of these uh, boba fett boxes to open um, on the channel, some uh, Beskar Chrome, some of the cheaper stuff, um, Obi-Wan series. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that um, that they're going to continue to um, the top the tops and fanatics will keep on making Star Wars, or are they done? I kind of think they're done. And if so, will this um, older top Star Wars stuff? be harder to find will it get hot or will it like tank what do you guys think i don't think it's going to tank because a lot of these have some really cool stuff like sketch cards and stuff that are always going to be sought after and like like big name autos and stuff like that that you can hit it's just 
just keep your eyes out for deals. Maybe some of these um, online stores are going to want to clear out stuff. But anyway, this video is getting to be too long for a hobby talk episode. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. May the force be with you. Later.